Now, when we look at the talent management process a little more closely, uh, how to identify and cultivate the critical top talent? That is a critical question which HR function need to answer. Uh, we need to answer this question because potential of the company depends on top 2 to 5 percent employee who create disproportionately high value. There are studies now which suggest that performance in organization is not distributed in the normal curve or Gaussian curve. Performance in the organization is represented better by Pareto law that means 20 percent of the talent contributes to 80 percent of organizational success. So, this is generally the first task of G3 to identify those people who are in the right role and they will be most accelerated, they will most accelerate the company's growth. We have example of some of the very bright and uh, uh, very highly valuable talent like uh, Gerstner in IBM or Steve Jobs himself in the Apple, they bring very, very high level of value to the organization. So, organizations need to understand which are the critical talents and keep harnessing the talent in the organization. If we look at the overall picture and if we want to plot people across the organization in terms of their uh, uh, talent value, uh, this graph can be plotted between performance and potential and willingness. So, using this framework, we can categorize the talent. Uh, first category of the talent is uh, which is high in terms of performance and uh, slightly lower on or in the middle range of the potential and willingness. They constitute the solid citizens of the organization. They may not be very ambitious, they uh, may not be stars, but they are the solid performers who are able to deliver day to day, week to week, quarter to quarter performance consistently quarter after year and perhaps year after year. So, in any organization, they ha there has to be a very strong and robust solid uh, robust group of solid citizens. Second category of the talent can be uh, performance problems means uh, people who are uh, high on potential and willingness, but they are not able to perform well. These are the talent generally there in the uh, uh, amongst the group which are uh, earlier in their employment life cycle. So, uh, that is found in, in large percentage at the entry level or frontline management these people have to be trained, uh, training, coaching, mentoring, uh, particularly training if, uh, is can be very useful for this category of talent, which are uh, high on potential and willingness, but low on performance. Third category of talent can be called stars. Uh, these are stars because they contribute immensely to the productivity and innovation in an organization. They are very high on performance and they are also very high on potential and willingness. These are also our most vulnerable talent. These are the people, these are the performers whom uh, competitors can are generally always looking out for and they act and, and talent in this category is most vulnerable uh, for the uh, talent poaching by the competitors. These category, this category of talent, the best strategy for them is delegation. They do not like close monitoring, certainly do not like close directing. They have to be given sufficient autonomy to perform 
and that is why in their case delegation is most important technique or method of management with them. Then there is a last category which are low on potential and willingness uh, and also low on performance. This category is called misfit. This pool of talent are the least engaged pool in any organization. We need to recognize that these are not worthless human beings. Only thing is they may not fit in their current role and that is why they are neither willing to perform nor they exert effort to show their performance. They may be highly talented and can be stars in some other organization or maybe in some other industry. So, organizations or particularly HR need to help and need to approach this these misfits in a positive way. Even if they have to ask uh, uh, this pool of people to leave the organization that has to be done compassionately and that has to be done respectfully and with dignity. In some good organizations, HR also help these misfits to identify their true calling, identify their inherent talent and sometimes they are guided to uh, pursue that talent outside of the organization and sometimes even inside of the organization. So, uh, uh, we must notice that this matrix is called talent matrix. Here nothing is useless. All quadrant or all squares represent a unique kind of talent. Misfits have to be directed and they deserve more monitoring, whereas uh, people who are high uh, uh, at the middle range of the performance and the uh, middle to high range of the potential and willingness, they are the people most motivated by the incentives. So, uh, we can see delegation, incentive, directing and monitoring, training and development may not work in all kinds of talents or all the human resources. Uh, intelligent human resource department need to identify the category of the talent and accordingly they need to intervene. The good organizations are those which have systems and processes in the form of training and development, performance management and compensation management system, so that they can deal with the different categories of the talent differently. Similarly, training and development do not work and is not very useful for all the categories of the employees. Training and development works best for the people who are at the middle range of the potential and willingness and performance. So, we need to understand. So, you can see that talent management uh, metrics can be very helpful to track the talent and uh, manage the different kind of talent according to its requirement by the HR function and HR function can use this talent matrix to share uh, their uh, policies to the top management. Now, we will talk about some of the tips to identify the top talents. Uh, how do we identify the top talents? Top talent employees or the most valuable employees may not be having the fanciest of title. So, HR need to work more closely and more minutely to understand and to identify the critical top, uh, HR has to work more meticulously to identify the top talent in organization. Now, how do we identify top talent? We can identify by looking at the, who are the key actors in the social network of the company most popular people. Uh, who are the veterans in the organization uh, whom newcomers turn to for advice to steer a cross functional project? Who are the savvy, who is the savvy analyst who provides valuable insights into diverse set of data? Who is programming expert who is remarkably fast? Uh, someone who is uh, great at clinching a deal? Uh, a charismatic person who creates and infectiously encourages uh, people around him. So, these are some of the clues which HR managers have to keep looking at to identify the 
of talent in organization. Talent management process uh, is a very important process as we are discussing since last few minutes. Uh, some examples will be worth quoting over here. Uh, different organization actually can uh, treat the talent management according to the strategy and culture of their organization. So, uh, for example, Pyramal group uh, emphasize a lot if they value the value centric talent management approaches. They have identified some set of values and these are very important uh, for the organizational members to imbibe and live by in the uh, Pyramal group. Similarly, Unilever also emphasize uh, on the value centric talent management approach. Value centric multifaceted talent management approach is adopted by uh, Tata group. Uh, Tata administrative services has a very robust talent development program, wherein uh, more than a year the talent uh, the management trainees are trained in different functions and different contexts. Strategic focused talent management approach uh, is the example of the Mahindra AFS. So, this talent council is headed by the CEO and uh, many senior executives sit in the talent council. They have an interesting process called uh, shadow boards program, wherein young uh, talented employees are given opportunity to work with very senior people, sometimes even the uh, uh, boards, uh, board members uh, to get the big picture about the organization and also it helps the senior managers to understand the perspective of the younger employees. There is a comprehensive study conducted by Deloitte Consulting, uh, which included 269 Indian organizations uh, with more than 100 employees. They found organization in India's highly competitive labor market focused on leadership, diversity and responsive dialogue with employees are the most likely to perform well on business and talent outcome. That means, uh, for the best talent management process in India, leadership, leadership development, encouraging diversity and responsive dialogue between leader and employees are the are some of the most crucial processes.